Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Our Lord and our God, we bless your holy name. We give you all praise. We give you all the honor. We are back to say thank you so very much for our nation, Nigeria. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Lamentations chapter number 3, verse 22. says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. His compassion is also mercy. And so this morning, by the special grace of God, we shall be looking at and calling upon God to have mercy upon us and have mercy upon our nation, Nigeria. Lamentations 3.22 is actually a song now. The steadfast love of our God never ceased. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. We have seen the Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have seen the Lord goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. O oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to us. O oh Lord, you are excellent in our lives every day. O oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to us. O oh Lord, you are excellent in our lives. Our God has been so good. He has been merciful to us as a nation, Nigeria, and concerning the nations of the world, Israel, we are here to say, God, thank you. We are here to return all the glory back to him. We are here to acknowledge that if it had not been for the Lord, then we would have consumed us. And so as our nation prepares to have a new democratic government come the 29th of May, we are here to say, God, thank you for your mercy that has revealed. We are here to say, God, continue to show us mercy. Continue to show us mercy as a nation. And so, Father, we say thank you. We acknowledge you as our source. We acknowledge you as our strength. We acknowledge you as our banner. We acknowledge you that it is you that has kept us as a nation. <laughs> so much has happened. So, so very much. But the Lord has prevailed. His will alone will prevail and continue to prevail in our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are here to stand in the gap as intercessors, praying, having a transitional service for our nation to say, God, your mercy has prevailed and your mercy will continue to prevail. We are here to acknowledge you. Psalm Lamentations 3.24 Say, the Lord is our portion. The Lord is our portion. Therefore, we hope in him. Daddy, we are here to say you are our hope. You are our strength. It is you that is our stay and our trust. And so, Father, we say thank you. Thank you because the hands that has kept us will continue to keep us. The hand that has upheld us will continue to uphold our nation. The hand that has ensured that it is well with Nigeria. That has ensured that we are not at war. That has ensured that we are not refugees. That has ensured that we are not running up and down. We continue to uphold us. We are back to give him all the glory. To say, Daddy, thank you. That we say thank you. Verse number 30 of Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3.20. It said, My soul had them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall in my mind. Therefore, I have hope. We recall all that has happened. We recall all that has transpired. And we see God's mighty hand upon our nation. We refuse to be ungrateful. And so we are here to say thank you for that which you have done in the time past. Thank you for that which you are doing right now. Thank you for a bigger and a better tomorrow. A futuristic Nigeria that is corruption free. That is egalitarian in nature. That all things work for good. That where we look at one for the other. Where there's unity, 
there's joy, there's peace, there's togetherness. Where there's tolerance, where there is um, fear play and justice, where there's no nepotism, there's no tribalism, there's no, no, no segregation, there's no cheating. Whatsoever you wish for Nigeria, begin to tell him thank you for it. Because the Lord that has preserved us and brought us thus far, we perfect that which concerns us. We perfect that which concerns us. And so that day we say thank you. Thank you for your mercy that has prevailed, that we yet continue to prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Band of Love Ministries International. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. Join us to take time out. Take three. We are taking this special three days out to usher in our new government, to declare a new beginning, to declare that it is well with our nation, to declare that Nigeria will not go under, to declare that God's agenda, God's will and purpose alone will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't allow the inauguration to go on just like that. Let's set our altars aright. Let's repair our altars. Do visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries International. You see a lot of messages loaded for you. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the, search the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth. Join us to pray for our nation. Join us to usher in the new government on a godly note, saying that God will hand over our nation to you, take over, take charge. And your mercy that has been prevailing, let it continue to prevail. Are you out there? You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus is the way maker. He is a joy giver. He is everything that you can ever want. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first the kingdom of God, and everything else shall be added. Let's join to praise him. Let's join to magnify him. Let's join to be partakers of that which is good. Having said that prayer, get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. Begin to study the word. The Bible is God's word to you. The Bible is your standard for living. Make it your standard for living. Make it your manual, your reference book for all that you'll be doing. And you'll be amazed. Our life will change for you. Our life will transform for you. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. God bless you. No, I know about anybody. <laughs>